Hey guys, how's it going today? We're going to be playing some more Dungeon Defenders. I'm just checking up on my guy here real quick. Uh, as you can see, up at the top of the left menu on the right. Left menu on the right. Uh, yeah, I am now level 20, and my stats are quite a bit better. Um, I got a new staff that I actually was just able to equip as of the last match that I played. It is quite a bit better than my last staff. It does fire damage. It the fire actually does more damage than my range damage, so there's more than double the attack there, plus I have another one right there. It's got a knockback bonus when I hit stuff, they go back. I've got an overcharge bonus, which I don't really use too much. Uh, it gives me a health bonus, a base damage, which is great. And then the, uh, the projectile speed bonus is quite lower, but since I'm shooting five projectiles, I typically get closer to begin with. And I'm actually looking right now on this symbol. It's got five little spikes coming out of it. I wonder if that's the limit on how many it can shoot. But it's plus four. Uh, I've already upgraded it quite a few times. And um, we've also got some better stuff on me that's increasing my health quite a bit. And my tower attack. We've also got Gregory. I upgraded him enough so that I could actually name him. So his name is now Gregory. And those are his stats. So we're going to go ahead and play the, uh, the game. I also changed my Eternia crystal. This is called Runic. I changed it from pure white. Now it's uh, it's like a light gray base. It's got it emanates like purple, and then its souls are blue, which is what you see like rising from it and going into it at the moment. Gauge is on. Um, so what I'm thinking is Alchemical Laboratory is my favorite right now, and I'll be playing through the other ones at some point in the future as well, but I think we're just going to try this on survival. The, I have no idea what that does, but we'll go ahead and just do this on survival, medium difficulty, infinite build time, sure, and I suppose we'll just get going. So I'm quite a bit better at this game. Clearly. By like the three seconds that you've seen me running around collecting up mana. Hi, Henry. I like this map because it's nice and centralized to one point. Right here. And all I have to defend are these two stairways here, and then there's two stairways at the back here. So the thing I do for the first wave, since we're actually, we start out on wave 3, but the first and second wave really have, like, nothing. And I haven't even tried playing on easy yet, any of the maps. And I haven't had any trouble on medium difficulty. So what I do for the first round is set up blockades at each point, that way that it can't actually get to my Eternia Crystal. And the only place that they can attack it is the archers shooting past my blockades, but that's only in the back here. Up front it takes longer. But I need to get my electric towers up as fast as possible, which I haven't actually... I haven't used on my channel, but I think Rogue used some at one point. So basically the strategy for this map is I get the two blockades, and then I put a fireball tower behind every single blockade that I have, and then behind each of the uh, the fire towers I put one electric. So I have two flame here, and then I'll have one electric here. And then over here I have another electric, just because the flame turrets, oftentimes they explode and send them flying off this way. So I have an electric turret to prevent that as well. This is also my first time playing as this, because I... Or playing with this crystal. So I do well over double the damage with this weapon, and I still have 16 more times that I can upgrade it. Because it's 5 right now, and it can go up to 21. Um, 
five man killer. And they move considerably slower, but I actually have upgrades to my fire rate, so I can fire this pretty fast. I didn't even realize it was locking onto somebody. I just fired off into the distance. That was pretty good. Instead of tower here. I haven't played survival on this too much. I think I've gotten like to wave eight. I'm not sure if at one point the boss comes in and fights because there's a boss on this map. Henry, what are you doing? But uh, one of the main things that I'm not too happy about right now is uh, I've been uh, working with my friend Ethan on going down to his house for the summer and babysitting his brothers. Hi, Henry! Hi! And uh, we've been working it out and everything, and I even worked out a bunch of it with his dad on payment and everything and hi Henry hello Brian's not gonna come in here and play I don't want him in here matter of fact I don't want you in here oh look Rogue's on So I set up everything on going down there this weekend, and I was talking with my dad, and he said it would be alright. But he's convinced that I'm going down there, and I'm just going to end up playing video games all summer long, and that's not the case, because I'll be babysitting the majority of the time that I'm down there. And then uh, he also told me that I had to talk to my mom about it, and my mom won't let me go down, because my dad is semi-incompetent. I say semi because um, I'm really good at watching kids, and... I used to be really just just an absolute dick. I, I, I believe this is the first time I'm talking about this, but when I was younger, I was an asshole. Up until the age of about nine, whenever, whenever somebody would be talking bad to me or anything like that, I would just straight up punch them in the face. And in some ways, I'm kind of envious of my past self because at the moment, people seem to think I'm a pushover, which I'm not. I just don't get worked up about things. Like the, uh, just a few days ago, I was doing laundry and I got into an argument with my dad. He, he just lost it. He started slamming doors and punching stuff and throwing a huge fit. And I was just calmly listening to what he was saying. And of course I have to change the way I'm doing laundry now. But I think he got even more mad about the fact of how calm I was when the entire thing was going down because he was yelling and my brother was crying because he was yelling and all sorts of stuff that it was it was basically just a big mess situation and I think he was actually mad about the fact that I was calm the entire time because when he is yelling like an asshole I'm not saying he's an asshole but the way he was yelling you'd think he was an asshole and I'm just sitting there, like, looking at him, trying to stay calm. It looks like I'm looking at him like he's just completely retarded. Like, out of his mind, insane. And I think that that's what annoyed him the most. And then afterwards, he, uh... He kind of calmed down a bit. But for a while there, he really lost it. And I don't lose it for anything. I mean, every now and then I'll be playing Call of Duty or something and some, there'll be somebody camping in a corner the entire match seemingly covering the entire map with his line of sight and that really irks me but I don't get mad at things in real life I get mad at things in video games because I, I prefer to take video games very seriously I don't take real life very seriously Aww. 
Contradicting myself, and it's not very helpful. And for some reason, I uh, keep getting lagged or something. Yeah, when I was younger, I was I was the kid that you did not mess with whatsoever, and I actually uh, actually got kicked out of a school. Wait. Okay. I have, oh. It was my TV that was ha that was having the problem. All right, it fixed itself. Apparently, it was trying to display in the wrong resolution on my TV. That's weird. That's never happened before. TV is broken. Dead. Buy me a new one. Actually, it wasn't really dead. Buy me a new one. It was. Hey, Dad. I got I got money. And uh, I've been babysitting. Could you uh, could you cover the difference as payment for babysitting? Yeah, I'm sure. But uh, there, I, I can't even count the number of times that I was uh, suspended from school for starting fights. And it wasn't really a fight. It would, if you could imagine it, imagine like an eight-year-old giving somebody a one-punch fight. It, of course, most of the time they didn't want to fight me, they just wanted to start something, and then they ran away like a bunch of little pussies. But there was one time, I was actually I was actually friends with some kid named Brandon. Um, if anybody is watching this from where I live, it's not the same, it's not the Brandon you might be thinking about, because nobody knows who he is. So, just random name, person, I was friends with him, and his brother one day made me mad, so I chased him down, and I put his, I grabbed him, and I put his head up against a brick wall, the back of his head, and I headbutted him. Now, I've... I know that it was really painful, and that was kind of what I was going for, but that was the kind of stuff that I did. I didn't just punch somebody. I found a different way of, like, kicking their butt. And then when I was nine, I, uh, I went through day treatment, and I thought it was just the stupidest stuff ever, and looking back on it now, it was, it was actually pretty good. Of course, they, uh... Whenever I would start a fight with one of the other kids that was there, the kids were there for a bunch of different reasons. There was one that was there because he was selling drugs, and another one because he uh, he lit somebody's house on fire and almost stole their car. And there was a bunch of different stuff. And I was there just for anger. So to be around people that I I would have considered almost criminal when I was there. Of course, my activities were considered criminal at one point. But hi, ow! Hi, Henry. Yes, hug. Are you hiding on me? What have you done? What have you done? What did you do? As far as I can tell, everybody hates the suiciders. But I was there for uh, a little under a year. And then they told me that I was fine to go, and I honestly didn't feel like I was fine to go. But in the next few ensuing years, I uh, I really made a lot of improvements. I went from, oh, you said something bad about me, I'm going to kick your teeth in, to, you know what, it doesn't really matter. Because I decided at one point that everybody, I mean everybody, not, not just people that did certain things, everybody gets theirs in the end. My grandma kind of helped me with this. She told me a story about a girl that was just such a bitch to her in school, and then uh, my grandma actually seriously considered killing her. I, I don't know if she really did, but that's what she said. And uh, she, a few years after, oh, my TV did it again. TV. 
a few years after she read in the uh, the newspaper or in the news. I don't I don't know if she was on the computer. I'm assuming she wasn't just because of how long ago it was. She is my grandma. But uh, she read that the daughter of the woman who made fun of her killed her. The daughter killed the mother. So the daughter ended up going to prison. I don't know how old she was. She either went to prison or she went to wherever they send children. They killed their parents. And my grandma tried to convince me that it was, that it was because she didn't do anything that that happened. And I've decided that that's what it is. If you, if somebody does something mean to you and you do something in retaliation, they do not get what's coming to them. But if they do something mean to you and you do absolutely nothing, it will resolve itself. Stupid computer, stupid TV. It keeps it keeps going black randomly. Let me check my uh, my video cables real quick. Video cables. Is it working? Are they fine? Let me check everything. Check everything. It's really annoying that it's doing this. But, uh, yeah. And then one time I just decided that I wasn't going to ever let anything bother me ever again, and I would just let it resolve itself. And, uh, since then, everything has gotten a lot better. My grades have been up. Um... I've actually found that I'm funnier as well. Not that it really shows it too much on my channel. But uh, every time I'm not recording, I'm pretty funny. So basically, if somebody does something bad to you, just leave them alone. The problem that I had with that, though, was that when I'm when my dad was mad at me, it almost seemed like I was egging him on because I I was looking at him like he was stupid. Or well, that's what it looked like. Because after that, I I went and looked in the mirror and went, "Wow." Because I actually looked like I was looking at somebody that looked like they were absolutely insane. I don't know. I don't. I do not regret regret at all staying completely calm in that situation. And also, I'm very happy about the amount of game sound that's coming through. It might be quite loud, but it actually masks the sound that my computer makes when I'm recording, so I don't have to stay talking all the time. It really only shows up in moments of silence, which there isn't really, there isn't really any while I'm playing this. The lightning towers get pretty cross after a while. And then once I have all of these towers upgraded completely, all I have to do is continue repairing them from suiciders. I tried that before, but when I tried it before, I can only upgrade stuff twice. Now I can upgrade stuff three times. So I'm going to be able to last a lot longer. Say, and then after a while they get necromancers, but looks like there's already one. Now there already isn't one. Alright, any other weapons down here? You know, these towers go to town after a while. The electric towers are really good for groups. And the fire towers are also very good because they have explosive area of damage. So, uh, 
This is probably where I'm going to end up cutting it off in two videos, so I suppose I might as well at least say goodbye. Goodbye.